Okay. And then for independent, it's this switch here to the to the right. So independent and that, would do that what? makes it so nobody can call it. It won't go to any other floors unless you take it there. Close the door. Press and hold that. And to get to another floor, just hold that until it starts moving. And then when I leave that night, I switch it back to a automatic, which is over here, and then the doors will close and it'll be on call. So when they when they uh, when they go to get it in the morning, it'll be they'll just have to push on the loading dock. It'll come down to it because you have it on should automatic. unless somebody's jumped in here after hours and switched it. Okay, and that's all they got to switch it over. In which come case, in you can go to the loading dock or level one, and it'll tell you what floor it's on if it's not moving. And then you'll just have to go get it. So now it's on automatic. Oh, so someone can call it now. We can call it. Now right. if he switches it back over, nobody can call it. He's got control. Got so it. So that's all yeah. we got to do. Okay, so at the end of the day, can it be left on automatic then? It'll be loud. He'll have it on automatic, right? Yes, yeah, okay. so I'll leave it on automatic so you should be able to push a button wherever you're at and it'll come to you. And, and then, then you can switch that. Come and near it. And then you control it. Right. Right. So basically... Uh, when they start, they should be able to push the button. The elevator will come to the floor they're on. They can get in. Open this small door at the bottom, right, up, right below the uh, normal control panel. You switch it to, uh, to the right. independent, to the right. That allows you to control the elevator. You close the door by hitting the uh, arrows together. You hold that key, and then you push the floor that you want to get to. And as soon as it starts moving, you can take your finger off the closed door button and you've got the elevator running. If you want to just set it on so anyone can run it, you switch the bottom switch over to the left and then it operates like a normal elevator. Uh, the other thing is this one is for the rear door. Okay. So press and hold that until the rear door is closed. This one here is for the front door. Perfect, thanks. Rear door only off is only on level one. Is the elevator And loading dock. And loading dock has rear door. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm.